This cover really matches my sweater. That's besides the point. Um, Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my final TBR for 2021. It is the month of December. I can't believe the year is already over. This is insane. But if you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and it's like the fun little way that I have her on my channel. And she always has a theme that goes along with the books that she chose. So this month's theme is these book titles are ridiculously long. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book she chose is The Five Stages of Andrew Bradley. This is by Sean David Hutchinson and I'm actually really excited that she picked this one because this has been on my TBR since like 2018 when Dylan from Dylan is reading which I'm not even 100% sure that is still his channel name. He doesn't really make videos anymore. Every once in a while he'll pop up in my sub box and I'm like oh cool Dylan but he gave this to me for Christmas one year and I still have not picked it up so. This follows a boy named Andrew who was supposed to die one night. His parents and sister died some way. I'm gonna say it was probably like a car crash or something. It doesn't say on the back of the book so I don't actually know. But they died so he is now living in the hospital. He sleeps in an abandoned supply closet and then one day a boy named Rusty is wheeled into the ER. Half his body is burned from hateful classmates and Andrew finally sees hope in somebody. Drew is determined to have Rusty survive and so it is the story of him trying to evade death. I don't know if this is like a metaphor or like actually death. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. There's also comics in here which I think is really cool. I'm a big fan of mixed media when it comes to telling stories so I am definitely excited to see what these comics are all about. The next book she chose is Cold the Night, Fast the Wolves. This is by Meg Long. This is actually an arc that is releasing in January and I am very intrigued. I'm gonna read the synopsis because I think it does a really good job of summarizing what this is. It says, On a frozen wasteland of a planet, a girl is on the run with a wolf who is born to be a killer, but bound to be her guide. As they fight to escape ice goblins, giant bears, and a ruthless leader intent on trapping them both, one question drives them relentlessly forward. Where do you turn when there is nowhere to hide? I just think that it's gonna be really interesting and I'm also like obsessed with this cover. Next up is Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls. This is by Lynn Weingarten. This is Julia from Julia Sapphire's one of her favorite books and I love Julia so I really hope that I love this book as well. It follows two girls, Delia and June. Delia ends up burning herself alive in her stepfather's shed. It is deemed a suicide but June does not believe that that is the case. When at night a year ago, Delia, June, and Delia's boyfriend were having a little fun and things got a little out of hand. June knew that nothing would ever be the same after that night and now Delia is dead and June needs to find out what actually happened to her friend and it's like the story of that. But like I said, this is one of Julia's favorite books. I love Julia so I'm hoping I also love this one. Next up, she chose They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Everybody on booktube has read this already. I am like the last person on booktube to pick this up but it follows those two boys who receive a notification on an app that says that they are going to die today and they decide to spend their final hours together because it's an app called Last Friend so when you get told you're gonna die you can go hook up with somebody and like be friends with them for the day and they decide to go on this adventure and it's like the story of that. I just want to take in these end pages. I think they're so pretty so I'm really hoping that I like this book because Adam Silvera is a very hit and miss author with me. I read More Happy Than Not and I found it very average so I'm hoping that this one is good so I can keep the end pages on my shelf. Next up is The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. This follows a girl whose brother dies by suicide and she received a text from him the night that it happened that could have changed everything. It's the story of her coming to terms with that but also feeling that her brother is haunting her at the same time. I've read a couple of Cynthia Hand's books and I really like her writing style so I am intrigued by this. I usually pick up her paranormal books so I'm not 100% sure if this is considered a contemporary or if it would be paranormal because there's a ghost in it. I don't know if the ghost is real either because it says Lex's brother is gone but Lex is about to discover that a ghost doesn't have to be real to keep you from moving on. So I'm thinking that this is a contemporary but I guess we'll see but like I said I do like Cynthia Hand's writing style so 
I am interested to pick it up. Next up is The Truth Behind the Lies by Amanda Searchy. I believe this is a thriller. I honestly am not sure. I know that it follows two girls, Kayla and Betsy. Somehow their lives collide and it says the truth will set them free or bury them beneath their lies. So... I think it's a thriller, uh, but we're gonna find out. I've had this one on my shelf for a really long time as well, so it's about time we pick it up. Next up is When You Ask Me Where I'm Going by Jasmine Carr. I actually met this author. It is a signed copy, and I am very intrigued with this. This has also been on my shelf for quite a while, I will not lie. Like, this arc is from 2019, so it has been there for a while. It is a book of poetry, so I honestly could get through it very very quickly so I'm not 100% sure why I have not yet. It says that it delves into current cultural conversations about issues including sexual assault, mental health, feminism, and immigration. The narrative of resilience, healing, empowerment, and love will galvanize readers to fight for what is right in their world. So I just like that there's a bunch of pictures and stuff in here because I love things with illustrations because I have a little goldfish brain and it just makes me focus more when there are pictures. I'm not sorry about it. But I actually think I'm going to be picking this up very soon because it is quite short. So it's going to go over there on my bed so I actually pick it up. And then the final book that she chose is The Home for Unwanted Girls. This is by Joanna Goodman. This takes place in the 1950s where a young girl named Maggie falls in love with a boy named Gabriel. Her parents do not want them to be together, but they end up sneaking off, loving each other, and having a little girl named Elodie. Maggie's mother forces her to give her baby to the orphanage where Elodie is raised, but then Elodie and a thousand other orphans from Quebec are deemed mentally ill as the result of a new law that is passed that gives the psychiatric hospitals more funding than the orphanages. When Elodie turns 17, she gains her freedom and Maggie has always been thinking about the daughter that she lost and their lives has actually interwoven many times without them realizing. And then Maggie has a chance encounter with Gabriel once again and they decide to find their daughter and it's like the story of that I'm excited for this because it takes place in Quebec. I am Canadian. I live in Ontario, which is right beside Quebec. I've been to Quebec before. It is a beautiful, beautiful province, so I am very intrigued to read about this. I believe this is also inspired by a true story, but I am definitely interested to learn more about what these people had to go through in the 1950s. All right, everybody, so that was the TBR my mom chose for me, eight books. I believe I should be able to get through them all for once because I do have two weeks off of work in the month of December for school shutdown, winter holiday, you know, Christmas break. So I do have my fingers crossed that I will actually complete this TBR for once. It'll be a nice finish to the year of me actually reading the books that my mom wants me to read. So let me know down below if you have read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!